Hello friends, so today we're gonna discuss very interesting problems asked in interviews. Uh, I found these two questions on lead code, link list one and link list two. So you have to find out cycles in link list. Okay, so there are two type of question. First, find whether there is present a cycle in a link list or not. And if it is present, what is the starting point for that cycle? So these are the two questions link list cycle like one and link list cycle two okay so let's start like how we can find out a cycle in a link list so you can also the first brute force way can be you can use hashing in which what you can do you can create a hash map of every node you have seen till now so let's assume that you start from the starting node and then you iterate over from the starting node to the next node, third node, fourth node and so on. And you make a hash of it that you have seen this. And if you have seen this node again, then yes, there's a cycle present, but it will work in because you store it using a map and then map will take O of login time to do a lookup and you have to iterate over the whole list. So N into login, but what you can do, you can also do it in O of N, which is a cycle length. So what you can do here is, uh, there's a method called the here and tortoise method a fast pointer slow pointer method what you, whatever you can call so let's assume that you have a link list which have sort of a cycle so I've drawn it here and then like let's assume that uh, like this connects to the end, this and uh, let's assume that there is another node here this is a cycle this is a cycle and starts from here this is the head so what you can do you can take two pointers one it's one is slow pointer and one is the fast pointer and what you can do the fast pointer will jump by distance of two and the slow pointer will jump by distance of one jumping means that you iterate over the whole link list one by one so that for this if it's point to the start it will go like this first this then this then this just one step ahead one step jump but for the fast one, the first one also start from this point, but it will jump by two places. So it will go to this now, then it will go to this. And then it will like for this, this is the first note and the second note. So it will again come to this point and so on. So why this guarantees to form that? And if the fast pointer and the slow pointers meet again somewhere else, then it guarantees that there is a cycle. If they do, do not meet, then or if the fast pointer reaches the end, a null pointer, which means that there is a link list and which doesn't have a cycle. So how you can guarantee that? Because the fast pointer, because there's a loop and the speeds are different. So it is just the second, uh, it's just twice of the first. And because they're moving at different speeds, they are bound to meet at a certain point because if they had a same speed, then they will not they will not meet because they will only the distance between them will remain the same because if they have the same speed if both the fast and the slow pointer will move at the same speed then they will not meet but because the speeds are different they will bound to meet at some other point so that's the whole trick for the first part let's move on to the code part to make it more clear if the head is null like there is no node then the answer is just false because there is no loop in this detector cycle uh, in the link list there is no node at like there is no node so the answer is just false there is no cycle then what you can do you can make two pointers one slow and fast both point to the head you will do a while loop the fast will move so as you can see if this is the link list what we want that our fast can always move then because if the fast can move the slow can also move because the fast will jump by a distance of two okay and if the fast can move then the slow can also move because the fast has moved now so slow it means that there is some path so slow can also move so we can only check the condition for fast so if fast doesn't become null and fast dot next is also not null what you can do here is you can increment slow by one position and fast by two positions and check that whenever this condition holds true if doing a for loop or doing a while loop if fast and slow become true at any point then it like they become same at any point it means that they have 
there is a cycle and then they again meet at a certain point and then the answer is true that there is a cycle else it, if the fast reaches at the end it becomes null it will come out of this while loop and it will return, return false that there is no loop in this whole cycle or this linked list so that's the first question now for the second part you have to understand that uh, a floyd cycle det detection algorithm so that's also a very good algorithm in which let's assume that there is a cycle there is also a very good article on geeks for geeks regarding this derivation so you can also read there so let's assume that this is the head then it will goes like this it will go like this then this then this this so there's a cycle let's assume that this is of length m there is some nodes after which the cycle start the length of the cycle is equal to n and the fast and the slow pointer will be moving and they will move let's assume at this node let's assume this is the kth node from the start of the starting point of the cycle so we have three variables m is the length at which the first pointer or the, the cycle will begin so the second question is we have to de define the starting point of the cycle and so this is starting point of the cycle and we have defined three parameters m n is the whole length of the par like cycle and k is the point at which the cycle like the slow and the fast pointer meet in the cycle so what you can observe here is in this let's assume because the slow pointer has the speed or the fast pointer has the speed which is twice the slow pointer so let's assume how many distance they have covered the slow pointer the slow pointer has covered the distance of let's assume that m because they both start at the starting point m plus then let's assume that they have covered some circles like before meeting they have covered some certain amount of whole circles completed the circles which is like equal to y and uh, the total length of the circle is n and then k and for the fast the fast is also same they have also traveled m and then equal plus x now fast pointer has somewhat done x amount of times the whole cycle and then n because of the length of the cycle plus k if you simplify this expression you will observe that k is a multiple or let's assume that k plus m k plus m is a multiple of n you will see that or you can also read the geeks for geeks article so it states that m plus k is a multiple of n so what does this help us to know let's assume that you meet you yeah, you meet at this point from the from this end now if you know that the cycle or you meet at k points from this end and the cycle length is n the cycle length of this is n so let's assume that you have a thread you have a thread and uh, the because you know that the cycle length is equal to n if you put a one pointer here one pointer here which let's assume that this is a slow pointer and one pointer at this position at which they move that they meet so this is equal to uh, let's assume equal to fast pointer so you know that the, you meet at this point and what you can do because you know the head you make the small pointer the slow pointer moves at the starting point now what you can do you will start moving your slow pointer again by one move and fast pointer again also by one move and the point at which they will meet is the point which is the starting point that's the floyd circle detection algorithm so how does this find out the starting point because this is the multiple of n okay this is a cycle and because you have covered n if you again covered m distance it will become a multiple of this cycle n and because this is equal to m which means that if you move some m distances 
this fast pointer will also move m distances and this m plus k will become multiple of n and if become a multiple of n it which means that it should be at the starting point n means that it has it should be covered the whole distance and it should be at the starting point and that's the logic for the this part so what you can do after detecting the starting point at which the small the uh, slow and the fast pointer moves make the slow pointer start like point to the head and then move the slow and the fast pointer till that they will again meet the point they will meet is equal to the starting point of this loop so let's move on to the code part this is the same in which you make the slow and the fast pointer equal to head then do the same thing fast is not equal to null and fast dot next not equal to null you will do the slow and fast move by this position and as you, soon as you see that the slow and fast become equal to equal then make your slow equal to head and then you will do a while loop such that the slow and fast are not equal and move the slow and fast by one step and then you will return out whenever you will not hit this condition or whenever slow and fast again becomes equal which means that this is the starting point and you can return slow or fast whatever you like and then if there is no loop then you can return null because null means that there is no node or actually there is no cycle in this whole linked list I hope you understand the logic for both of the questions. If you still have any doubts, please mention down. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button and like button. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.